It is bittersweet, but the epic final installment in the action packed Seven Wonders series, Seven Wonders Book Five, The Legend of the Rift is here. New York bestselling author Peter Loren just joins us this morning to talk about it. Peter, we were just saying you're going to be joining us here in Tucson not too uh, long from now. That's right. I'm going to be at the Tucson Book Festival. I'm doing three three panels so there's plenty of uh, plenty of chances i'm going to be appearing with some incredible authors like gordon corman and tui sutherland and it's going to be awesome well we can't wait for you to come here to tucson but in the meantime this book five is finally out i'm sure like i said it is very bittersweet for a lot of people i'm sure for you as well uh, but let's kind of kind of take a step back and kind of tell us where we're picking up for big book five Oh, so, you know, the, as the series begins, right, we have four friends who are stuck on this island. They don't know how they got there. They don't know why they're there. They find out they're subjects of a study. And it turns out that all four of them are descended from a prince who escaped the sinking of the island of Atlantis, right? And, and from them, they've inherited this gene that takes whatever you are good at and turns it into an awesome superpower, right? So if you're an athlete, you're sinking jump shots from 50 yards. If you're good at tech, you can hack into anything in the world. Pretty great, right? But they find out on this island, right, that there's a downside. No one who's ever had this gene has ever lasted past the age of 14. Well, they're all 13. They've got one year. It turns out that they have found a cure on this island. It turns out that if they can go and find seven magical objects that were taken from Atlantis before it sank by this prince and hidden in the seven wonders of the ancient world, which were built for that purpose, and they bring these objects back to the island, they will be cured and they will live some pretty amazing lives. And as it turns out, they'll also save the world, right? And they've got to figure out how to do it. Four different personalities. They've got to figure out how to get along, how to form a team, right? They've all got these different talents, except for our hero, Jack. He has no idea what his talent is. He's a totally normal kid. He's completely inferior to the others, and he's got to figure out something about himself, too. Plus, of the six, of the seven wonders of the ancient world, six of them no longer exist, right? There's only one. It's the pyramids in Egypt. So how do you bring back to life these six ancient structures in order to bring yourself back to life? And by the end of book four, everything is just completely out of the water destroyed. I mean, the two of those objects are gone. The island itself is, is, is being threatened with destruction. There's no way that this thing can be solved. And that's what I've set up in book five. And I'm so excited the way it turned out. Can't wait for the book to come out. And after I talk to you, I'll be going on a tour, you know, including the Tucson uh, Book Festival, and I'll be able to talk to kids and find out what they really think. Very excited about that. Well, I love just hearing you talk about the story. I feel like I'm in story time right now. Like, I can't wait to hear, you know, the conclusion. <laughs> yes. So what are you telling fans about this last book? Like I said, very bittersweet, I'm sure, for a lot of people. What, what do you yeah. want to tell them about this last book? Oh, man. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, preliminary emails from, from readers who are, some of them are really sad and some of them are really angry that the series isn't going on. And, you know, I'm dealing with the loss myself. I feel like I've made best friends with these characters. Um, it's really, really hard. But what I do want to say is that I really think that this book, the fifth book, this, to me, this was the kind of the culmination of a, of, a, of a dream of mine. And I think it's, really, I think it's the best thing I've ever written. It's so exciting. It's so unexpected. Um, there's a lot of things that just come out of nowhere. And then when you read them, they make total sense with what's come before. That's my job as a writer. And I think that it's going to be very exciting to read. So that's, I just want readers to look forward to the excitement of the book. Well, Peter, with 165 books under your belt, for you to say this is the best thing you've written, that, that means a lot. Now, before I let you go, I do want to let everybody know that you have a great interactive website uh, that we can send people over to that right. they can get even more. What's that website? Right. It's called sevenwondersbooks.com. And in it, um, you, there's an interactive map where you can actually kind of do a deep dive into uh, the seven wonders themselves, what made them so wonderful, um, you know, uh, what they were, you know, uh, what they were made out of, what, what's inside them. That's really interesting. You can learn about the different characters because kids love to identify with these characters. And you find stuff on the site that you don't necessarily get in the books. Um, for teachers, there's, uh, there's, there's teaching guides in case they want to incorporate the Seven Wonders series into their curriculums, all kinds of stuff. 
Well, Peter, that'll kind of ease the pain of us uh, knowing that this is going to be the final book. But I want to thank you so much again for talking to us. We can't wait to see you here in Tucson. Me too. Me too. Thanks very much, Tina. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.